I think of Margaret Thatcher as a revolutionary leader because unlike most people in politics, she was really about unswerving, clear moral passion. She wasn't about a career in politics. She wasn't about compromise and melding differences. She was about what she fiercely believed in. And with that, she changed the world. She did so against all odds, too. She was completely self-made. She was not only a woman in a nation dominated by men, but she was the daughter of a grocer. And she made her way to Oxford University, where she became the head of the Conservative Union. She rose to be the head of England's Conservative Party by the time she was 50 and then went from there to become England's first woman prime minister. When Thatcher became prime minister, she did a lot of things that made a lot of people angry very quickly. In her first term, her unemployment went way up. Her approval rating dropped to 25%. That was partly because she took on the unions. She thought they were stifling the British economy. Uh, they were what a lot of people depended on. But after a while, Britain began to free itself and become more prosperous than it had been. It had been in the shadow of World War II. In 1982, when Argentina invaded the Falklands, she led a quick military response to that, which helped rebuild British pride in that way, too. The thing about Margaret Thatcher as prime minister was that you loved her or hated her. She had very strong views about what needed to be done. They were generally not mainstream views, and she hewed to them. At one point, she was asked, are you going to take a U-turn? And she said, not me, I'm going to continue doing what I do. She built a very strong relationship with Ronald Reagan, President of the United States, and they sort of redefined modern conservatism. They built the modern conservative movement, and I believe David Cameron probably wouldn't be Prime Minister of England today if it weren't for Margaret Thatcher before him. She had a real lasting legacy. Another part of that legacy was that when Mikhail Gorbachev first appeared on the scene in the Soviet Union, she said, this is somebody I could work with. And she gave him a kind of stamp of legitimacy in the West, which helped greatly when he did rise to power and everything that came of that with the fall of the Soviet Union. She was really a part of that. One thing it's easy to forget about Margaret Thatcher's conservatism is what a different world she came into than the one we are in today. Labor unions had a kind of strength in England that they simply don't have there or in the United States today. There was a bedrock of English social values that she never disturbed. She was very much in favor of the kind of socialistic, in American terms, universal health care that they had in England and continue to have that America won't begin to approach with Obamacare, which today's conservatives mostly oppose. You didn't necessarily agree with her, but you knew what she what she was going to stand for, and you knew she was going to follow through with it. She once said, being a leader is like being a lady. If you have to remind people, you aren't one. That's Margaret Thatcher in a nutshell.